Hey, hey, my dear co-YouTubers! Today's vlog is all about painting the cabin, as you can see in my background. First, the post, and then the terrace over there. Welcome to my channel, Juana in Norway! <music> cabin in two different weekends when the weather was nice and cooperative to do some painting job in the exterior part. Well, it was most of the time my husband who did the painting and I just helped a little. The first week was allotted for the preparation by first brushing off the dust and cleaning with sandpaper all the areas that would be later painted. It was also the time to do the first stroke or first coat of paint on the posts and terrace, but also on the outside walls. However, I did not think of documenting it back then, except for the two short videos I took in the preparation stage, which you just saw. When we got home, the idea struck me that maybe I should do a vlog on it when we come back. After all, it is also very Norwegian. I mean, it is part of their culture to do things on their own. DIY or do it yourself. So, here is our painting job adventure. Here is a close-up look of the brush I used, and also the Yoton brand of paints my husband preferred. Okay, so why do Norwegians do this? First and foremost, it's because labor here is so expensive. So if you can do some things on your own, then you just have to do it on your own. But if it's a bit complicated, then you have to call the expert. Yes, so here's the cabin. My husband over there is painting. And there's the place. Beautiful place. And the neighbor's cabins are there. One, two, the one behind the trees. And the third one. Beautiful day today, yes. I'm not totally new to painting because when I was in the Philippines, I also painted a bit there. I painted our kitchen cabinet actually. So I know some of the tricks. I can switch hands. <laughs> Just kidding. The color that we use for the post and the top of the terrace is almost like the color of this mushroom, like mocha brown. By the way, the specific paint we used doesn't bear the name of the color. The company instead just labeled the code for it. The name in the container is just to inform that it is extra durable for wood surface and suitable for exterior use. It is a very nice color, especially when the sun shines on it. Sorry, I just had to pose for the camera. Hee hee hee, silly me. Isn't it nice to see when the paint is new? Look at how dull the terrace looked before. And look how it brightened up when it was being painted. I think 
think we spent more than five hours in the slight makeover and tidying job. All the meal breaks were included and we even played one chess match. I filmed around the area while my husband took care of the final part of the painting job, the stairs. In that way, we wouldn't worry that we would absent-mindedly step on it while it was still wet. Smart! If everyday autumn weather could be like this, warm and sunny in late afternoon, then it is paradise to stay in the woods around the cabin for hours. It can be a problem. I left my husband alone for a while to finish the painting job while I took the opportunity to shoot um, and goof around at the same time. Blame it on the perfect weather. I should not miss it for the whole world. So I took some photos and videos while relaxing and playing like a child. Pardon me. Just look at the view overlooking the big lake of Snossa. Thank you so much for watching my six word summary DIY painting is ordinary to Norwegians show some love folks like and subscribe